is The Space. I'm your host, Casey Donovan. It's time to reflect on the week and take it easy for your Sunday with one of my favourite tips from the last seven days. So relax, get comfy, and let's do this. Hands up if you're feeling a little frazzled. Whether you Christmased in a crowd or you had a smaller gathering, it can still seriously suck your energy. In fact, smaller events can be more intense. There's nowhere to hide when there's only a few of you. Social hangovers, as they're known, can include tiredness, overwhelm, mental exhaustion, craving time alone, and other difficult feelings. It can feel like a hangover, even if you're teetotal. With this type of hangover, you can't just pop a headache pill. Experts say hiding under your doona isn't the ideal solution. It might sound counterintuitive, but the antidote to a social hangover is going out again. Just not the same kind of out. The best thing to do is physical activity and try to spend time in nature. Pick one friend or go alone and head out for a walk outside. Notice how you feel after moving your body. Is your head less mushy? Has your anxiety eased? It's best to walk somewhere where you don't have to notice social cues. An incognito stroll. Somewhere that nobody knows you is the perfect antidote. If you find yourself experiencing a social come down often, ask yourself, is there anything else to blame? This is the time to set boundaries and stick to them. The best thing about Christmas is that we're all exhausted. Invite your mates over to watch a movie in silence. Every social occasion doesn't have to be a performance. Finally, remember, it's only Christmas. Yes, it only happens once a year. But a lot of other great stuff happens. You can spend time the next few days listening to podcasts. I'm Casey Donovan and this is The Space. Thanks for taking the time to learn about this mindfulness stuff. It's cool to have you here. See you tomorrow. Space out.